Welcome back, Mindsetters. As you know, this is Grade 12 Physical Science, and we are doing the chloroalkali industry. We are loving the questions. As I always tell you, questions show us that you are not only aware and alive and with us, that you are actually on the right track. So that's how we see. And thank you for the questions because they are very important. And remember that if you don't ask a question, someone else will ask it and then you'll need it. So make sure that you ask the question so that the next person who has the question has the question. Do you understand me? Does that make sense, Tracy? I, I think it makes sense. I think I know what you're trying to say. Okay. Well, if you don't know what Pretty I'm trying to say, then then Tracy will say it for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On that <laughs> note, I think what she's trying to say, someone's always going to ask the question and you need answered. Yes. Just answer, ask it for someone else. There you go. Pretty much. And like you said, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Um, yes. Before I actually start this, you did have a question. Yes. Which I just want to quickly address yes, before we carry on. Yes, there was a on. question by Lillian. Lillian mm. asks, what is electrolysis? Okay, Lillian, you're going to have to do a little bit of back work here, okay? You need to go back and look at chemical change. Electrolysis is where we take an electrical, we take electrical energy and we convert it into chemical energy and we use the fact that in an electrical, electrical circuit we have electrons that move and those electrons then cause a redox reaction, okay? And we force a redox reaction to happen within, and it's usually an ionic solution, Okay, so you're going to need to go and do some back reading on that, but that's essentially what we're doing. We're taking electrical energy, converting it into chemical energy. Okay, hoping that plugs yes. that one a little bit. All right, now, you guys have been sending great um, questions about the environment and human impact and stuff, but we're not going to answer those right now because we need to look at the other two cells first because we need to look at it in context. Now, the second cell is the diaphragm cell, and if some of you are now looking at this diagram, you're going... Well, you know what, Tracy, that looks almost the same as the last one you had. It is very, very, very similar, except for some really important differences, which we're going to go through. The first thing you need to recognize is, like the last one, we put in a saturated solution of sodium chloride, okay? So we have our anode and we have our cathode. That saturated solution produces sodium and chlorine ions. What you need to note here, though, is the liquid level on the anode is higher than the liquid level on the cathode. That is very, very, very deliberate. It is there to prevent ions from traveling in two directions. This is the diaphragm cell's bigger, one of its disadvantages, okay? Then we have, and just like in the last one, the chlorine ions get attracted to the, a the anode, the actual anode. They form chlorine gas, and chlorine gas comes out the top. So we have Cl minus becoming, oh, not 2Cl, I'm lying to you, Cl minus becoming chlorine gas plus two electrons. That hasn't changed. Over here, and this is what we need to talk about. This is our diaphragm. I hate this word. It's one of those words I can never spell properly. That's okay. It's horrible. Because the R's silent. Okay, so we have our diaphragm. The diaphragm is made out of asbestos. Now, grade 11s, in a school lab, for example, it is illegal for me to have asbestos. Why? It is extremely toxic. It took a long time for people to realize it. When you inhale asbestos, it's like a fine dust. It gives you what is known as a disease which is known as asbestosis. It's almost like tuberculosis, okay? It, it leaves the asbestos in your lungs, and you just cough and cough and cough and cough, and it will kill you. It is horrible. So biggest problem here, this asbestos ends up in the environment, okay? It eventually breaks down. The diaphragm has to be replaced, okay? That is a real problem for us. Asbestos is extremely toxic. First big problem with this cell. Then, just like with our other one, we have hydrogen gas that comes out the top, okay? Because we have our sodium ions that move across. We have water. Okay, but there's a problem here. This is not 
like our di- like a uh, like our membrane cell where the me- membrane only allowed the positive ion to move through. Some chlorine ions move through the diaphragm as well, which means we have sodium plus ions moving through and we have Cl minus ions moving through. The water is being reduced, forming OH minus. Okay, just like with our last one. So we still have H2O plus our two electrons and they become H2 gas plus 2OH, which means the sodium plus ions react with the NaOH. We're going to form, which comes out here, sodium hydroxide. But, but, because the Cl minus ions have also migrated, we also get sodium chloride. So, this is not as pure. Big problem. This solution that we now take out has to now be purified. Costs more money. Means more electricity, more energy resources need to be used. Problem, okay? Can you already start to see if I asked you to compare membrane to diaphragm? There's already some things that you can look at, okay? The diaphragm, environmentally, not a good idea because we use an asbestos. It uses far more electricity than our membrane cell does. And the sodium hydroxide formed is far less pure. The less pure our product, the worse it becomes for us because the more money we have to spend on getting it pure, okay? So we've got all these extra things that happen, but what I do need you to see here is the basic chemistry is the same. So when we look at the overall reaction, okay, we had the chlorine. Let's just do it again, just so you can see I'm not lying to you. Plus the two electrons, and we had the hydrogen, well, the water. Okay. And they then give us, the electrons disappear, so we have 2Cl minus plus H2O gives me Cl2 plus H2 plus 2O minus. Guys, I need you to see that the basic, basic chemistry is the same. Biggest problem, the asbestos, very, very dangerous, and extra energy is needed to make the NaOH pure. Good reason to swap to the membrane cell. Why would, industry, why would industries des- decide not to swap? Because of the cost involved in changing their factories, okay? It sounds quite simple, but, and I know if you looked at the schematic and put these together, because these really are just schematics, they're very basic drawings, and you put these next, the membrane and the, and the diaphragm cell next to each other in a schematic sort of point of view, They look very similar, but remember, we have simplified this. We have made this in the simplest possible version for you. So be careful in going, well, then they must have changed. Of course they must, but what what is any industry motivated by? Money, okay? So for some industries, they just might not have the financial ability to convert to a membrane cell. Though, if they're in Europe, they have to. They don't actually have a choice anymore because they will get heavily, heavily fined. So pretty much they need to do that. Then, our last cell is the mercury cell. This is the oldest out of the cells, which is why it's there. And the mercury cell actually has two components. The first part, which is here, this is the actual cell part. And then this part, which is called an amalgam. Now we're going to get to some really interesting words, which we all know I'm not so good at pronouncing. It's an amalgam decomposer. Okay, amalgam. Hopefully none of you have had to experience this when you go to the dentist and he has to give you a filling. It's known as an amalgam. It's never fun. Moving on. So... Basically, what happens is, and we're going to talk about this top, this is the the cell part, this is where we get our reaction, but we get an amalgam, we don't produce pure sodium hydroxide, which then has to be 
reprocessed. Okay, so what actually happens here? Your anode is here. These little gray things that are at the top, those are my anode, okay? The anode, what we put in, let's, oops, ooh, wow. Okay, so now that my, there we go, ooh. <laughs> okay. Is everything okay there? No, my board's busy fighting with me and showing me all sorts of weird and wonderful things that it doesn't want me to do. Alrighty. Well, the board has now gone on strike. And you're not right with it? No. Um, um. The board's gone on strike, so... Um, Let's... There you no, go. no, no, we're good. There we're you good. Go. Is it fine now? Uh, yeah, the board's actually gone on strike. But listen, we can carry on for a little bit and then we'll okay, sort cool. it out just now. Okay. But um, during the ad break, we're going to have to... Do something. Throw yeah, it away. Yeah, pretty at much. Me. The board, but I can still write for a while, so okay. hopefully I don't make any mistakes because then okay, cool. <laughs> we have a problem. Anyway, so what I was trying to tell you before the board decided it's home time is we put in sodium chloride just like we do before. Okay, the sodium chloride breaks up. We get the Cr minus ions, which are attracted to the anode. Same thing happens, gets oxidized, and chlorine gas comes out my two parts at the top. Now, the cathode part is this here, and it's made out of mercury, okay? So the bottom part, very similar to the, if you've done your electrolysis and you've done the electrolytic cells, very similar to what happens when we do the extraction of aluminium, where the bottom part of the cell is actually your, ca your cathode. Bottom part of the cell is, an, is a mercury cathode, Okay, now what happens, and this is important. So let, let's just write this in here. F first of all, my cathode, my anode, sorry, gives me this, mm, gives me this reaction. Have we decided to, no, it's still on strike, just so you know. Okay, wow, the board does not like me tonight. Let must okay. we just take a break just so we can sort those gremlins yeah, out. Yeah, and I eh? think we're going to need to. Sorry, need to. guys, That's I don't okay. know what's going That's on. That's okay, Tracy. So as you guys know, the gremlins have gotten a hold of our board, and therefore we need to sort that out. See you right now, just shortly after the break.